I'm Irena McWilliam Lopez, providing you with the director's commentary for the Past is Prologue Black History Month piece. So first of all, the Past is Prologue is a new series that 1623 launched at the beginning of 2021 to provide relevant local history snapshots. So just to give some more context to key issues, hot topics in the community, whether it's affordable housing, and some of the history behind that or a specific building, or in this case, black history and how Cape Ann is related to that as a theme. And so there's a ton of information to consider when putting together just a 90 second piece. And I was looking for new perspectives, things that were surprising, things that were relatively unknown. And so the Cape Ann Slavery Project really provided a bulk of important and surprising information for that. And so one of the first things that really surprised me um, when I looked through the data was that even after slavery was abolished, there were schooners, several schooners, at least several that were being built here in this area that had been secretly retrofitted to illegally transport slaves. And in addition to that, um, these schooners were either fully or partly owned by Cape Ann based folks. And in addition to that, there were quite a number of captains in this area who were involved in the transport um, and just the slave industry in general. Another theme that popped up that I found really interesting was the intergenerational component and the relationship that changed over time to slavery. And so some of the same families who'd benefited from the slave industry, um, from those same families were some really prominent abolitionists in our area. So William Haskell, Nathaniel Babson, both of them came from families that did have ties to slavery, but they also made a big impact on um, abolishing slavery and being proponents uh, against racial discrimination and for human rights. And so we really wanted to show these driving themes throughout this piece that one, slavery does have local roots and two, present day racism continues to be a deep concern to our community. So in the piece, you'll see it starts out with just imagery of current day uh, Cape Ann, where you'll see tons of signs up, uh, Black Lives Matter, and protests that have happened over the summer really show that this community shows up, wants to take action, and Black history is something that is deeply connected to who we are and what we care about. 